The stakes are getting higher in the legal pot game, and today the former president of Mexico was in town to back a plan to open a chain of marijuana stores. And as John Hopperstad tells us, it would be the first of its kind. Yeah, Maureen, the goal is to eventually market them around the world, and that president believes the legalization of pot starting here will eventually help cut down on crime in his country south of the border. I'm going to go back home very excited. I'm going to be promoting more intensely than ever that, that this is the solution. Vicente Fox, the former president of Mexico, is in Washington because he thinks this group of marijuana entrepreneurs can help kill the black market of drugs that has killed so many in his country. In Mexico, we welcome this initiative because the cost of the war in the case of Mexico, is becoming unbearable. It is a bold initiative sparked by former Microsoft executive Jamin Shively. Yes, we are big marijuana. Shively wants to be big like Starbucks or McDonald's, creating the first retail brand of marijuana in the world. He'll start with medical marijuana, and he's already acquiring dispensaries in Washington and Colorado and hopes to buy up several in California. For the first time in the history of the United States, you will see stores, uh, medical cannabis dispensaries in more than one state with the same brand. Shively says he hopes to open dozens of retail stores as well when the state begins issuing licenses for them next year. This truly is history in the making. Today we are ushering in the post-prohibition era in this country. But the feds may have something to say about that. As of now, the White House still opposes legalization of marijuana. I asked President Fox what he would say to President Obama. He says it's time for the president to adapt to the will of the people. Because of religious reasons prohibitions started and we know that prohibitions don't work not even the apple in garden of eden the forbidden <laughs> apple sustain the prohibition so this is going to change and uh, politicians will have to adapt President Fox also says eventually he would like to see marijuana trade agreement between Mexico and the U.S. And right now, Shively is trying to raise $10 million in investment capital. He believes this is an industry that could eventually generate more than $200 billion. Guys. New at 5 o'clock today, the first national marijuana retail company was announced in Seattle with plans to employ a thousand people in a local headquarters. Cairo 7 broke news of a deal, that, a deal that was in the works a couple of weeks ago. Graham Johnson is live in Seattle with the story. Graham. Well, it's a company that aims to be like any other big national retailer you might think of. Today, the announcement of this new marijuana venture came with international star power. It is a game Changer. Vicente Fox is the former president of Mexico and has seen his country ravaged by the drug war. The war has been lost all along and it has been lost again and again. Fox advocates legalizing marijuana. Today, he joined his friend, former Microsoft executive Jamin Shively, as Shively announced plans for a chain of recreational marijuana stores named for his great-grandfather, Diego Peisayer. He's acquired rights to medical pot dispensaries in Washington State and is working on a similar deal in Colorado. Shively plans dozens of stores in each state, plus medical pot outlets in California and elsewhere. Are you big marijuana? Yes, we are big marijuana. Is that a problem? Um, it's not a problem for us. For us, it's a huge opportunity and it's an honor to be at this particular place in history. Shively expects the company to invest hundreds of millions and employ a thousand people at a Seattle headquarters. He says no pot will be shipped between states. Marijuana is illegal under federal law, but Shively claims he's come up with a way to protect investors. We are making strategic investments but we're making them in such a way that they are not in violation of either federal or state law. But how does that work? You haven't really explained that. The particular details of the contracts that we are entering into with other companies are private. Shively also did not explain the arrangement he made with the owner of the Northwest Patient Resource Center. Now he plans two brands, one for recreational pot, the other for medical marijuana. Vicente Fox, by the way, says he is not an investor in the new company. As the future of marijuana is being sorted out in the state of Washington, entrepreneurs are jumping to stake their claims. Today, one company touting itself as the first national marijuana brand even brought in the former president of Mexico to join the announcement. 
King 5's Mitch Pittman has more on what this all means. Mitch? Well, Alan, there are still so many unknowns as to how marijuana will work in Washington, and this new announcement raises questions of legality. But if you listen to the owners, one thing that's for sure is there's a lot of money to be made out there. We have launched the brand before we have actually opened the market. That about sums up the big announcement by Microsoft exec turned pot pioneer Jamin Shively. They are bold. We are creating the first national brand of retail cannabis. It's called Diego Pacer, and next month they'll also be launching a national brand of medical marijuana. Their goal is to become big, real big. The size of our company in terms of revenue will, uh, if we do our job right, and I, and I believe that we will, that we are, uh, will measure in the hundreds of billions of dollars in revenue. So big, they even brought in the former president of Mexico. This is a much better option, no doubt. One issue now is a national recreational marijuana company can only exist in two states, here in Colorado. But Shively insists they are not trying to circumvent the law. We are actually conspiring to obey the law. Though he wouldn't provide specifics on how, including how the company plans to produce, process, and sell retail, which is not allowed under Initiative 502. What they did tout is the promise of jobs, tens of thousands of them in the next few years, and the hundreds of millions of dollars in tax revenue coming into the state. They say another benefit of regulation is reducing drug violence. The former president of Mexico, Vicente Fox, was on hand, not as an investor, but to support the legalization and regulation of marijuana in the U.S. as well as Mexico as a way to curb the violence in his country that he says has killed 80,000 in the last six years. The cost of the war in the case of Mexico is becoming unbearable. I spoke with representatives of other marijuana groups in the state who have concerns over such a big, bold move. There is fear that small growers could be priced out. They also worry that this might draw too much attention to an industry that's still illegal in the eyes of the federal government. Reporting live, Mitch Pittman, King 5 News. Mm. Mitch, thank you. A former Microsoft executive is betting millions of dollars of investor money to create the first ever national brand of marijuana. It's a bold move that flies in the face of federal law. Come before us, Matt Markovich reports he's getting the support of a Mexican president. Welcome, everyone. It's a unique moment in the history of marijuana in this country. The former president of Mexico, who fought the drug cartels, sitting next to a Microsoft millionaire investor who is picking a fight with our federal government. For the first time in the history of the United States, you will see stores, uh, medical cannabis dispensaries in more than one state with the same brand. Jamin Shively wants to create a chain store approach to pot, the first national brand of marijuana, Diego Pacer, named after Shively's great grandfather, who once was the largest producer of hemp in the world. Shively and his investors believe the national brand approach will generate hundreds of billions of dollars in revenue. The brands that we're creating are uh, eventually going to be international brands. And so we're gonna have a very large headquarters function right here. A thousand jobs at the company's Seattle headquarters. Vicente Fox believes prohibitions against marijuana have to go. Because of religious reasons, prohibitions started. And we know that prohibitions don't work. Not even the apple in Garden of Eden. The forbidden <laughs> apple sustained the prohibition. But marijuana is an illegal drug under federal law and nearly everywhere else in the world. Initiative 502 only decriminalized possession of marijuana. So creating a company that crosses state and international boundaries, experts say is a huge risk, a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy to obey the law. It is a giant conspiracy to violate federal law. Douglas Hyatt has been defending cannabis cases for 20 years. It's just ridiculous. It's a fantasy um, to think that you can do this. There is absolutely no way you can do this legally. Eventually, the feds may weigh in and let Shively's company go forward or not. In Seattle, Matt Markovich, Coma 4 News.